Okay guys, so these are the products that we are going to use. So this is a uh, rubber lines. These are uh, T connectors, T connectors, four millimeters. And these are the uh, spray, spray nozzles. The tools that you're going to need for this installation, just cutting, cutting up rubber uh, lines. Um, so first you need to locate your uh, rear wiper um, line. So this is it. Um, in my case, I just disconnected it. This is the original uh, setting. Cut a small piece. Yeah, just stick it on so it looks like this. Then what you need to do is take your T connector and connect it like this and then just try to join these three lines together. Okay guys, so first I was thinking about uh, cooling the uh, uh, top mounted intercooler over here. I wanted initially to um, just put it behind this this cover behind the cover all the way up all the way up behind behind this all the way up under the hood scoop and just pointing like this spraying in both directions but um, this would mean I would have to um, pull down the air diver diverter put less air into the scoop so that was one bad thing the airflow was um, was affected so I returned to the original idea of uh, mounting it somehow over here okay, guys so after many hours of trying different setups you remember we did the T connect over here so I put the the line under the uh, the gasket over here under the cable going down here it goes down here I can pull it up a bit I left myself some room so this bit is connected to the cover only the nozzle is aligned horizontally so it's squares all over this area uh, so now we go down through this little hole over here we come out here we have our first uh, radiator uh, cooling the last bit is just dangling down there without any um, support. It looks like this. And they're also aligned. Okay, do it some more. Well guys, I'm testing this uh, water cooling setup right now. We are doing uh, 2000 uh, RPMs. Uh, we're using our cruise controls, 17 Celsius outside. We're doing like 50 miles per hour approximately. Uh, the, the temperature is on the car. I'm using my torque application. So I'm driving for like 10 miles now. With this speed, I cooled the engine down as much as I can with the stock, uh, with the stock setups. And now I'm gonna start cooling it down. So uh, let's just see what is the result right now. We're cooling, cooling. degree on the intake let's call it some more there's one more degree on the intake so it is cooling down I don't see it cooling uh, the engine. Yeah, it's cooling. 
doing the um, the intake but not the engine okay guys so after even more hours spent on uh, understanding how to fit the water cooling installation I decided to uh, go through the uh, T connector over here as you already know there's another T connector over here so we're creating a loop a loop going around this this area uh, now we have two two sprayers attached to our um, intercooler cover only so they're in the middle, so the spray pattern is horizontal like this. So the line goes under here, just as previously you've seen, goes to the side, goes here, and we have two sprayers in the middle, so they spray horizontally as well. And remember last time I, I had a dangling, dangling uh, thing at the end, so right now I don't need this dangling thing because I created a loop by inserting this T-connect over here. So let's see how this works now. Yeah? Do some more. More, more, more. Okay, okay. The hood closes perfectly, so you don't have to worry about anything. One, two. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, so we're testing the new setup right now. Uh, the same thing as yesterday, we're doing uh, all approximately 50 miles per hour uh, on our cruise control, 2000, 2000 RPMs, and uh, we're driving like this for a couple of miles to uh, for the engine temperature to stabilize, so this is the, the temperature, the stock, we're keeping constant speed, and now we're starting to spray, spraying with the new the new setup let's see if yeah we can see uh, the intake temperature is falling down already quite fast three degrees already with the new setup um, we're going uphill so I don't know if this is why the coolant is going up Okay, let's cool it some more and we can see the intake's gone down. Yeah, this is, um, there's 26.5 degrees outside, I forgot to, to mention. Now we're almost 5 degrees less, I mean 5-6 degrees less on the intake with the water cooling. Uh, similarly to, to before engine temperature coolant is not really affected the intake temperatures we got six degrees six degrees below the, the starting point and we have 20 27 degrees outside so our intake temps are below the ambient temps outside Okay guys, so now what we're going to do is um, we're, we're traveling at constant speed. Uh, the temperature on the engine, on the intake is 31, 31 degrees Celsius. The temperature outside is 26 degrees Celsius. We're just traveling around 50 miles per hour. We're going to do a fourth gear pull from 50 miles per hour to approximately 90 miles per hour so we're gonna see how the in, how the intake heats up uh, while doing this pull and then we're gonna do the same kind of a pull from 50 miles per hour in fourth gear to 90 miles per hour but we're gonna be cooling in a spray so
gas and spraying, spraying, spraying. 